Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very awesomely catchy song called Juju. Okay, so here we go, I'm going to be teaching you two sections of this song. The first section is a very awesome and catchy motif that plays throughout most of the song, like the um, intro and also the verse and stuff. It goes like this, give you a preview, so it goes like this. with it okay and also just sing over it okay but anyways the other section is the awesome ju 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 that part it goes like this give you a preview so it goes yeah okay so yeah let's learn these two sections right now it's pretty really awesome stuff so Let's firstly learn that awesome repeating motor that plays throughout the song, okay? It's only the left hand here, it has this like really simple pattern for you to follow. It's kind of like all of them are based off the chords, okay? So, the f okay, the first thing, element, it's like an E minor chord, E, G, B, E, okay? And what you do, uh, let's just do those chords first, okay? And then I'll tell you the pattern that we do. So first of all, we have the E minor chord, E, G, B, E, and the second element we have is a B minor chord, which is B, D, F sharp, B, okay? And the third chord is A minor, which is A, C, E, A. And then the fourth element is a B minor chord again, which is B, D, F sharp, B, okay? So remember these four elements. So basically we're doing a triad plus a, the double up with the root note at the top for every single chord. So E minor, B minor, A minor, B minor. So remember these four chords, get it under your fingers, after you get it under your fingers, then you can put this uh, rhythmic pattern to it. So it goes one. So what you want to do is break it up into the root note followed by the higher three notes every single time. So you do this. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can see right now the pattern every single time. For the E minor and the A minor, we do one, two, three, four, where you break up the lower note followed by higher two, uh, three notes for two counts each. So one, two, three, four, and then for the B minor, every single time, we uh, put out the first beat. So it goes one, and then the root note, two, and then the higher three notes for the third count, and then the root note again for the fourth count. Yeah, like that. So you can see, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then same one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, etc. Pretty simple, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, like that. And you've got that left hand pattern. You can actually sing through it the whole way if you know how to play this pattern there, okay? So, yeah, that's that. Remember that and just loop it throughout the song. And you got it. Pretty simple stuff with that pattern learnt. Okay, now moving on to the ju 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 that part, okay? So let's go ahead and learn that. So the chords change there, so let's go ahead and break it up into two parts to learn it, okay? So the first part goes like this, right? It starts on the B here. Middle C's here for reference, go up to the B. So it goes B, B, A, B, G. B, B, A, B, F sharp. And then five Bs. One, two, three, four, five, A, G. F sharp, G, E. And that's the first part for the right hand, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this, it goes B, B, A, B, G, B, B, A, B, F sharp, B, 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 A, G, F sharp, G, E. And that's the right hand, okay? So yeah, that's that, okay? Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are C major, which is C, E, G. Second chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A. And then the third chord is B, E minor, which is E, G, B. And then the fourth chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. So yeah, with these four chords in mind, so C major, D major, E minor, B minor. The two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts first. G and C major together. F sharp and D major together. 5th B and E minor to get up, after G, B minor by itself, like 
like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together, 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 here. And that's it for this first part of the second section, okay? So like that. Like that. Moving on to the second part, right hand, it changes a little bit. It goes A, B, A, B, G, A, B, A, B, F sharp, A, B, A, B, down to E, like that. And that's it for the right hand. Pretty simple stuff. One more time, so it goes like this for the second part. So it goes A, B, A, B, G, a, B, A, B, F sharp, A, B, A, B, E. And that's it for the right hand for the second part. Okay, once you get that left hand, four chords, similar four chords as the first part, but uh, uh, without the B minor, it's replaced with E minor. So you go C major, C, G, second chord, D major once again, D, F sharp, A. And then the third and the fourth chord are both E minor, which is E, G, B. So two of them this time, instead of doing the B minor again. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, so C major, D major, and E minor twice, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts first, G and C major get up, F sharp and D major get up, E and E minor to get up, and the E minor by itself, like that. And that's it, one more time, so it goes like this, to get up, to get up, to get up, two, three, four, yeah. And that's it, back to back the two parts, uh, of this second section, which we'll is be played like this. Check it out. Like that. And that's it. So after this, you can add, add more like stuff to make it more bigger. For a left hand, you can do patterns like octave plus arpeggios, and the right hand can combine with the, uh, the melody and the chords. So something like this. see there's a lot of fun to experiment with it okay so yeah so quite fun I really like the intro the uh, the repeating motif throughout the verses one two So for this one, you actually don't even have to do anything with it because that's how it is in the song. And then also this is the accompaniment pattern itself. Okay? And then the right hand, you have like the melodies going on. If you know the melodies and you know how to sing it, you can sing on top of it. And that's pretty much it for ju 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 Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead, check out the rest of my channel. I literally have multiple thousands and thousands of other videos for you to enjoy and learn from on this channel. So check it out. Okay. And also, yeah, also if you want to learn more piano from me, you can check out my website, Best Piano method.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other stuff so check it out as well for yourself and that's pretty much it enjoy time around my channel and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.